not much happening this week. Um, I haven't been doing a lot of fixing or making of anything. It's been mostly about cleaning, you know, you know taking care of the stuff around the house. Doing a little bit of you know, burgers right now, some smash burgers. And we'll see how that works. Still no job. Uh, quite a few phone calls, quite a few uh, submissions. I uh, did have one interview last week. Uh, I just heard a response back that uh, they are looking for someone specifically with more C++ experience, which, yeah, okay, that's fine. Uh, but they liked me enough that the manager that I um, interviewed with is really looking to see if they can get me in someplace else. So that's a, uh, that's a plus, I suppose. Got a few other leads going on. Um, some things hopefully happening this week. I had one where my my guy was meeting with the company this week, so maybe I'll hear back on that. I've been doing a lot more thinking about what I want to do in the long term. Uh, still trying to find a way of doing something that isn't so dependent on the job market every you know six months or year or whatever however long it takes for the contract to run out I would kind of like to find a more permanent home that would be cool but I have a feeling that the only way that's going to happen is if I make one and I'm not too sure how to do that yeah it is looking pretty uh, pretty crunchy the grass hasn't grown very well here for a while. Um, I don't know if it's just poor fertili fertilization or bad soil conditions or bugs or what, but it'd be nice to kind of get that cleaned up a bit more. But, you know, and then I've got all these from a couple years ago when I was growing, growing peppers. Kind of tearing up the garden this year. Um, neighbor Dave here is getting his roof replaced and I've agreed to let them use this space for um, trash dump so that they can have a space to collect all the the roofing waste and everything that way I can go through and completely revamp this once he's done so not going to be growing peppers this year which is pretty okay because I still have <laughs> um, lots of bags of um, fermented mash that are in the freezer and I had to pop in the freezer when I went up to mom's that first time a couple of years ago. So I have plenty left to uh, process. I don't need to grow more this year. I do kind of miss growing stuff in the garden. Uh, at the same point there's lots and lots of other stuff that I need to take care of. The dogs are, of course, very happy that I'm home. I'm gonna get the stick. I'm gonna get that stick. I'll get that stick. Yeah. Get you. Yeah, I don't know how to play the stick game right, evidently. Did have a really good uh, adventure day. Actually took a day and just intentionally went on an adventure away from the house. Did not answering the phone for a while. Had a friend come with me and we went and uh, went and did a randonautica exploration. Uh, went over to Stillwater and had a really good time. Actually, it was more a fun day of just exploring and hanging out and talking and looking at windows and, and just kind of fun stuff. I did get a pair of socks. Um, but we actually ended up finding something that was close enough to what we were looking for that we were both pretty impressed that it, it did as well as it did. So that may be a, a thing I do again. We'll see. You know, when I have, when I have time that I can actually feel not guilty about taking time. You want to go walkie?
That's the walkie's face. <laughs> Piper is very eager to go on the walk. I suppose I would be too if I had been cooped up all day. No, 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 come on. Out of there. There have been bunnies about. So there's lots of sniffing. Bruce the spruce is also coming along nicely. It's actually starting to thrive. I think this is a dwarf blue spruce. Oh, I'm not entirely sure, but it was, I don't think it was one that was ever intended to be replanted and grown. It was intended to be discarded after a Christmas thing came in a pot. Hardest thing to adjust to so far has been the need, or getting over the need to be constantly on for work. It's, it's like... You ever have that feeling like you're running and suddenly you go off the edge of a cliff and you're in free fall, let's say, uh, there's some anxiety and adjustment that goes with it. So, uh, things are actually okay right now. It's, you know, it's still, you know, there's a lot of pressure with trying to get a job and make sure that I have income again. But it's also kind of freeing in a way. I know that there's something coming up. It's just a matter of time, a few weeks. If I can hold out for a few weeks, I should be okay. Although, you never know. Um, last time I did that, it went on for several months. And I burned through all my savings during that time. Can't do that again. Uh, so, doing what I can to try and juggle things around to make sure that I'm solvent for the next few months anyway. As you can see right up there on that next block is uh, Gigi's Cafe is right there. There's a Bryant hardware store and then Kyle's Market on the end. Um, nice neighborhood places. They're uh, run by people that are, I know and are good to me, which is very cool. It's one of the things I like about the neighborhood. Sissy is taking the lead now, because she wants to go this way. She actually wants to get back home. But there's always all sorts of sniffing stuff, and sniffing where the other dogs have left their pee mail. And of course, Isis has played her favorite game. Wrap around Daddy with a leash, get him all tangled up. And usually if I'm walking, if there's trash around, I'll pick it up and toss it away. So it's kind of picking up the neighborhood trash. So, it's a little cleaner, a little nicer for everybody. <clears throat> it seems to be a run on gloves. I'm guessing he's probably got blown from some trash bin somewhere. We've had some pretty high winds lately. Whoa! <laughs> Dogs are going all over the place. Um, I've really been getting into uh, some deeper artificial intelligence studies lately. Um, I'm trying to trying to figure out if we can ever get to if we will ever get to a point where um, artificial intelligence can be generalized enough to be able to reason sort of equivalent to a human. Uh, I hate to say equivalent because I don't think there's any way for computers to, a digital computer to think like a biological human. Um, all human thought is emotional. By that I mean it's chemical in nature, and it's driven by uh, various neurochemicals like dopamine and serotonin. Uh, when you solve a problem, when you learn something and you finally get it, there's a dopamine rush. When you're 
learning things. There's a dopamine rush. When you're thinking through something and solving a problem, there's a dopamine rush. Maybe big or small, depending on the, uh, you know, depending on the complexity of the subject that you're doing and all of that. Computers don't have that yet. Um, I don't think they will develop something like that that will be analogous to human emotions, which is probably a good thing because people can do some really stupid shit sometimes. Uh, but the bigger question for me is whether or not a computer can become self-aware. And that turns into a whole whole other big question, because what does self-aware mean? I've tried asking that question of myself. What does it mean to be self-aware as a human? And the answer is long and complex and very strange. And I realized that self-awareness is not a binary thing. It's not on or off. You don't have it or not. It's on a scale. Tag. And learning to be self-aware. A lot of learning to be self-aware is being aware of others. And I think that's the biggest part of self-awareness that's so difficult to take on and, and learn for a lot of people. Some people are scared of learning. They don't like being wrong or, you know, having their boundaries tested. And I, I can understand that, you know, there's a, there's a safety factor that goes into having things be correct, having things be you know, steady in your life. And when something comes up that makes your life unsteady, it's uncomfortable. And if it makes it really unsteady, it's scary. So I mentioned it's been a lot of laundry. Uh, I've been sort of going through some of the stuff on my shelves. I tore the bed down to pretty much the frame and you know took everything off washed that uh started going through some of the um you know stuff on the shelves stuff in the on the table things that i haven't used for a while wash them so i can find places for them and put them away all right i'm just gonna take these upstairs <clears throat> it's a nice day today but it's just on that side of warm where it feels like the humidity is building and it's going to rain so I don't know if that's going to happen or not but I think the possibility is close so I guess that's about it for this week um, you know not all that exciting just a lot of maintenance stuff some self-care looking for work um, pottering around the house <laughs> um, I guess I'll probably keep up doing that for a while yet Maybe do some more deep thinking. Let me know if you wanted me to follow up on some of that AI stuff. Um, it's actually a really fascinating subject for me, and I'm pretty deep into it. Um, but we'll see. I don't know what I'm going to be doing. Let's kind of let the cards flow where they may. Flow? Flowing cards. There's an image for you. All right, see you guys. Flowing cards.